So I've delayed this video or making this video for a while just because, you know, I've been in high school and I have to let the time pass over before I actually make a video like this or this specific video. So we're going to go into it right now. So it was December 31st, 2020, going into the year of 2021. Actually, let's take it back a little further. So from age 10 to let's call it 15, I had this one friend group that I used to hang out with every day. You know, every kid, every group of kids has that one pack that people that they literally do everything with. Like every single day, they just text that group chat. Let's go hang out. Let's go somewhere. So, so that was my group of friends. Like we used to play basketball every single day. We used to play video games every single day. We'd go out to eat. We'd go to each other's pools and stuff like that. Like that was that one pack of friends that you'd bike around the whole entire city with. And that's what I had. Now, when it came to bettering myself, so there was a certain point around the very beginning of, the very end of 2020, the very beginning of 2021, where I started to just better myself. Like, you know, I was like, you know, I'm gonna start going to the gym. I'm gonna start focusing on myself rather than just doing like normal degenerate stuff. Like, you know, like ding dong ditching. And we used to just do stupid stuff, you know, like ding dong ditching and messing with people. Just kids, stuff that teenagers used to do. At one point I got like, Apparently, I don't even know what to call it, but you know, I started to shift away from them. Like they started not wanting to hang out with me because I was doing different things. And now I don't regret it, mashallah, to this point. But at the time it sucked because you're like, you're used to avoid my cat eating, but um, you're used to hang out with these friends all your life. And then once they all of a sudden try to cut you off and they start doing shit without you, like they're making this, it's so stupid now that I actually talk about it. They're making like different group chats without me just to hang out. They were, um, they're doing like stupid stuff. Like they'd tell me to go somewhere to hang out and I and none of them would be there. So I'd be like, tell my mom to go drive me somewhere and then no one would be there. Just just stupid stuff like that. And and so at that point I was like, okay, I'm probably, they want to cut me off. I'm probably not coming to them, which kind of sucks. Then I was with this other group of friends, which was a, and they're still a great group of people. And I just, they don't talk to me anymore, but, um, you know, they were the actual people that I started to resonate with, like the people that actually were focused at the time, you know, focus on their grades, focus on scholarships, sports, and everything that built a successful life. While this other friend group was kind of gravitating towards where they were, like drinking, smoking, more degenerate stuff, which you're a teenager, so I, I don't like, don't blame you for it if you're watching this video. So I was directly in the middle and it came to the night of um, December 31st, 2020, when it was like, I was directly in the middle. So I was like, okay, I, I wanna get back with my old friends, but I have to quote unquote, prove to them that I'm worthy of hanging out with them. Their words were, they said, okay, we're gonna let you hang out with us tonight. That, that was their words. So I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm like, so I did it, right? I did it. And here was the plan. And oh, they're getting so angry if any of them watch this video, but there was beef between these two friend groups and I was right in the middle of it. So the plan was to go break into the other people's house and steal food. Sounds really stupid, but basically it was, we were gonna plan a break and entering into this guy's, in this, this kid's house. I'm gonna leave out all the names. So we did that and we waited until they were gone and we staked out their house in the middle of the night and we, we broke in and stole fruit and food. And at the time I was like, yes, this is how I get back into the other friend group. But now think of it, it's like you had a perfectly good friend group like of the good people and you just completely killed the trust and everything with their parents and with all of them. But so what happened was I like snuck in, we all snuck in, we stole a bunch of shit. We just like, they just ran away and I was like, fuck it, I'm going home. I, this was not worth it at all. Why the hell did I just do this? So as I'm walking home, this truck pulls up beside me and he, he knew it was me. He probably knew I snuck into his house. And this, and this guy, not, like I said, I'm gonna, not gonna say any names, but he grabs me by the shirt, throws me up against a guy's house. Literally could have beat the shit out of me and killed me, but thank God he didn't. Like, I don't know why he did it. Like if someone broke into my house, I'd fuck them up. But him knowing that I was a teenager, he didn't do shit. And he just threw me in his car. And that moment in time, he literally could have drove me to the police station, told, told them that I broke into their house and I probably would have been in jail right now for the last two years because it's breaking, entering and stealing shit. So thanks to him, instead of doing that, he brought me back to his house and then just was like yelling and shit. And then he realized that it was me and then he's like, oh shit, I didn't notice it was you. But at that moment in time was really a blessing in disguise because instead of him taking me to the police station, literally just throw me in jail because I was guilty as f He brought me over to the house and he just said, look, why the f you do that? So that happened and then I was a coward, I'm gonna admit it. 
I saved myself and I ratted out every single one of them. Or not every single one of them, but I ratted out a bunch of them to save myself because I was a big ass coward. And at that point, for the next four months, what happened was I lost both of those friend groups. So I was alone for that period of four months. Not even four months, it's still to this day. But it was a period of four months of me not doing shit. It's like, I just broke into my best friend's house, stole all this shit to, to get the validation from another group of people. And at the end of it, I got caught. I was the only one who got caught. I lost both of it. I lost both the friend groups and everything involved in it. So, you know, down that line, and that's where it ended up. Still haven't talked to those kids. Well, I have, but they definitely still hate me. Like, at least two sides of it. I've talked to their parents and I've talked to those kids, but they want nothing to do with me. I don't blame them. But that was a period where I had like a really nice, like things were going well for me and then everything shifted. So then it was like five months of, I don't even, I don't call it depression because that's not what it was. It's five months of shit. I have zero friends. I have zero purpose. I have nothing in my life. So that was the stage where I think, like, I know this is controversial, but I think like Alhamdulillah Allah was putting me in that position. So he closed those doors and opened up this giant path for me. So at that stage, that's when I found Forex trading. That's when I started my overall journey and my found my purpose into self-improvement, going to the gym, focusing high income skills and all of this. But it wasn't until I lost almost everything friend wise. I went from being basically a criminal, breaking and entering to losing all my friends to now on this journey of self-improvement. Now that was in 2021 and it's been, um, it's been over two years now. It's been over two years now since that point. Now, if that never happened to me, I'll tell you exactly where I'd be at. Right now, I'd be in $170,000 of debt. I'd be applying to a college. I would be basically, I don't wanna bring up the matrix a lot in this video, but I'd basically be like, an, in, I would be brainwashed. I wouldn't have that same mindset that I have now because once I lost everything, I know this is nothing compared to what other people go through, but once I lost that, like that was what I had. That's what I like relied on for friendship. Once I lost all of that, I was in a point of, do I want to kill myself or do I want to improve my life? And I'm, I chose, obviously I'm sitting here making this video and I chose to improve my life. So that's when I found YouTubers like Ima Godzi, Hamza, um, Andrew Tate, he was a bit down the line, but all these YouTubers that were like, okay, improve your life as a teenager, blah, blah, blah. So I started, binge watching all these videos, like I said, focusing on Forex trading, all that, blah, blah, blah. Two year process of me just focusing on myself. Here we are today. And I don't have the Lamborghini to show you. I'm still sitting in the same house that I was two years ago when I was a criminal and breaking and entering into my friend's house. I have a couple things to show for it. I put on over 60 pounds. I went to the gym for three years, basically since that event has happened. I went from the network of net worth of negative I think I was down a negative $800 to now I have made my first $6,000 a month and it's only June 6th. There's much more in the future, inshallah. And here's the point I wanna take. I think Allah opened God, opened a door for me. He closed that door and said, I'm, you're making mistakes. I'm gonna make this a lesson for you. And I'm gonna remove these things from your life so you can then focus on yourself. And then I'm going to push you through this path of self-improvement so you can get to a higher level where you want to be in life. So because I lost everything, I found my purpose and I found what I need to do. Now, here's the, here's the kicker. I don't have those friends anymore. I still don't. Some of them still like me. Some of them still fucking hate me. At the end of the day, I have my, my purpose and I have network with people i want to say under 10 people who have the same goal the same purpose that believe in me and that want to get to that next level so that is what i have and i i do it all i know it sounds stupid but to get to where i am today i would do it all over again and maybe these people who the person that broke into his house or the people that i'm not going to say did it with me the people that were associated with me maybe they watch this maybe they hate it they dislike it comment on it share it with their friends but the overall thing is I'm here for a reason, and I think this is why, and this is the one thing that almost ruined my life, but really, I think it was a blessing in disguise. Maybe I'll make this video again, five years down the line, when I have all the stuff to show, I have the car, I have the house, I have the view, I have the, the girl, you know, all that. Okay, but for now, that's the story.